Hey guys, welcome back to Thunderdome Homestead. So I got a little uh, piece of knowledge for you guys this morning. So if you are fishing for meat more than sport, there's a couple ways you can do it. You can run jug lines, you can run bank lines, you can set traps. But my favorite way is running trot lines. So what trot lines are is essentially you have a long line that stretches from one bank to the other bank. And Typically, you want it about a couple feet off the bottom everywhere. So you're going to have weights along certain intervals to keep that hug down to the bottom. So what you'll have is a consistent, because river channels, they're not just like this, you know. Sometimes you'll have a shallow end that's kind of there, and then you'll have a drop off into a channel, and then you have another little drop off into a little smaller channel, and then back up. It varies from body of water to body of water, and it varies from different spots on the same body of water. So you want to keep that hug down to the bottom with weights. Now this here is an old window weight. If you've never seen one they're, they're really awesome um, but so along that line okay that's run along the river bottom you've got hooks at certain intervals okay they're called drop lines and every couple feet that's what you got so this is what a drop line looks like. Okay. You have your trot line clip there. It clips onto your main line. And then you have a drop that goes down to a little hook. Now, different states have different regulations. Mine, you're allowed 50 hooks per line. So. That being said, a little trick that I picked up over time is it's been a lifesaver. And uh, because before this, you just had hooks getting tangled up and all that kind of stuff here, I'll show you. So, like, you see, kind of that line right the second you get a hook with that barb on it that once this barb right here goes into this line it's going to take you half a day to get it out on a larger scale so if you have 40 40 50 hooks that are all tangled up like that you'll spend your whole day on the water just getting stuff untangled Here's my solution. Alright, this here's my trot line bucket. We're one of them. Now, forgive this guy. He didn't get with the program and came off. So I cut three quarter inch schedule 20 PVC down a, just about to the height of the bucket. A little higher, actually. So, they're all hot glued together at the top, the bottom, inside and out. And what happens is, you've got all these little drop lines have their own little spot to go. No more tangles. And then inside, you keep spools of main line, and I keep my weights in there, and extra line, and 
all that kind of stuff it keeps it really organized guys it keeps it tidy and it keeps it keeps you from spending your entire day on the water untangling stuff which if you fish at all that's the least fun part of it so guys that is the my favorite way to go for meat rather than sport as far as fishing um, you can get a lot of fish that way and typically most states regulate that you have to check it every 24 hours um, and get out there and then you know you reset your you pull the fish off that you've caught rebait that hook rebait any stolen baits and head back down the road and I run crawfish traps at the same time so I'll on the way to where my trot lines are I'll check my traps and empty them out into a burlap sack and in the boat and that's so yeah it's it's a process but it's well worth it uh it's something worth learning and uh i hope this was helpful guys if it was like share subscribe um and i will catch you on the next one thunderdome homestead out